What's up, everybody? So, you might hear the birds in the background. Yes, my place is kind of a mess. I'm in the process of moving. That's why I haven't been able to upload anything recently. But I do have an, a package that I'm going to be doing an unboxing on. And I've had this package for a little while. I was going to be doing a project using it. But because of all the stuff that's going on, I don't know if I'll be doing this project anytime soon. But it is in the books on attempting to do such a project because it is a fairly big project so i'll get right over and start doing the unboxing this is a collector's item the first package i bought um the entire thing was all just basically destroyed I, I have pictures on my phone if i can find it i'll put it in the video but like the package it came in wasn't a box it was a plastic like the plastic bags but the plastic bag was already ripped open before it even arrived to my house and um the everything was destroyed the box was all like the actual collector's box was destroyed uh the item inside the box had a piece that was broken as well um so i did have to reach out to the company they sent it i sent it back then they sent me it again which is this one and they sent it in a box and had the whole thing taped shut and everything so i'm gonna set the camera up real quick and then i'll do the unboxing with you guys and this is how it came packaged after I got it back. So this package is, oh yeah, so this, this product that I'm gonna be doing isn't sponsored or anything, but this was my next project after I did the Mandalorian costume, which I have the helmet up there, and then I have the actual costume in one of my boxes in the background. But I have the Iron Man helmet and all my other collector stuff that I have all over here. And that was from the very first video right there, Mark 85. If you guys haven't seen that, if you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. I believe it's in this top corner. So check, click that link right there, and it'll bring you straight to that video. Um, but this was what I was planning on doing for my next project. It is a lot bigger of a project than all of those so far, except for the Mandalorian, but I think this one probably tops the Mandalorian. And it came in nice packaging and everything. I haven't opened up this one because I knew what was in it. I opened up the other one before this. But I'm gonna try keeping everything as intact as possible so I can just pack it back up. So, Iron Man, I believe it's Mark 38, which is Igor. And if you guys have seen Iron Man 3, this is the Iron Man suit when Tony says he needs something to be stabilized. This is the Iron Man suit that was helping out with that thing. I don't want to do too much details into it because I don't want to spoil it if anyone hasn't watched that yet. But this is one of the suits from Iron Man 3. It is a 1 12th scale collectible figure of Iron, this Iron Man suit, which it's right there. Mark, whatever that says. I know it is Roman numerals, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's 35 or 38. Has a magnet lid. Open it up. Oh, yeah, 38 right there. And then inside it has the actual collector's item back there instructions and you can also pop out his fists Let's turn it so the lights on it you can pop out his fist for either the closed fist or the opened up fist and i believe his eyes also turn on so i'm gonna carefully open this up just so you guys can see it but then i'm gonna be putting it back inside this box until i go to do this project so here we go let's take this off and we'll look at his fists first so this is one hand, which it should just pop straight off. And this hand, you can't do anything with. You can't open the fingers. It just stays like this. His other hand. This one, you can move all of the fingers individually. Like so. 
or we can put this one partially down or all the way down you do all the fingers so, so this is the Iron Man this is the Iron Man suit and it's full metal everything works on him like like normal legs move around arms move around back moves around his arms can go up and down his head can stay still and I'm just gonna turn you guys turn it around real quick so you can see the back everything is real good details on this the back plates actually move if I can get it I can't get I'm gonna lay them down there you go back plates move and then there is a button I believe this is it yep there we go so there's a little switch right there that black thing right there in front of my finger it turns on his chest and his eyes also turn on but I forget how they turn on he has these little things right here which is what he uses in the movie or his one of his abilities it's a little like forklift type thing it goes in and out up and down same on the sand like so it goes in and out and then also I don't know if this one does it but in the movie I think you guys can still see him. Yeah. In the movie, right here, these are jacks. And they actually move up and down in the movie. I'm not sure if they do it on here, though. And this is what I wanted to do as the actual next project, like a big project. I kind of wanted to make this entire Iron Man suit. What I was planning on doing, which would make it a lot easier and simpler, is, let me shut this light off, is if I use my brother's 3d scanner i can have him sitting like standing like this straighten everything out and let's get him to stand there we go use the 3d scanner and scan all the way around and then i can size this up drastically or i could even chop off sections in in the software not in real life like do the arm work on that do the head work on that do the body work on that but I could use this helmet and take the scan or the model that I have of that one and ma make this one magnify it to the same size as that Iron Man helmet if not a little bit bigger than that Iron Man helmet because it does it is a little bit tight on my head but this is what I want to do as one of my next projects and one of the bigger projects for my channel um, I am going to need you guys is help with support from liking subscribing and commenting on my videos so one day I could possibly get monetized but it's not going to be for a while but it still helps out 